Motu AVB interfaces provide flexible audio routing and mixing options. In this video, let's learn about the routing grid. The routing grid shows audio sources along the top of the window and destinations down the left-hand side. Signal flow goes from across the top, then down and to the left. There are several types of sources. First, here are the analog inputs of the interface. For the 1248 model, this includes the four mic inputs, two guitar inputs, and eight line inputs. Next are the digital inputs. This includes SPDIF and two banks of optical. After the physical inputs on the interface, the next set of inputs are returns from the computer. After that, the AVB streams are listed, which are eight channel banks coming from other devices on the AVB network, if any are connected. Finally, you'll see bus returns from the onboard mixer that's built into the interface. Here are the main outs, monitor outs, auxiliary outs, group outs, reverb return, and then last, the direct mixer channel outputs. So, audio sources can be physical inputs, AVB streams, or mixer buses. Now let's look at destinations. Again, these are outputs specific to the 1248 model. First, we have the phone's outputs. The phones are stereo, so there are two output channels for each of the two headphone jacks on the front of the 1248. Next are the main outs, monitor outs, and eight channels of analog outs. After that are the digital outputs, including SPDIF and optical. Following the physical outputs on the interface, we have outputs from the AVB system into the computer. Next are outputs back into the AVB network. And last in the list are outputs back into the onboard AVB mixer. It's important to note that inputs and outputs are only visible if they are enabled under the device tab. This way you can simplify the interface to show only the I.O. ports that are currently in use. How do I route a source to a destination? Simple, I click a tile on the grid. In this example, I'm routing mic input number one to the computer input channel number one so I can record it into my DAW. Notice how the sources are now shown in the source column right next to their destinations. If I want to make a stereo connection, I click two channels like this. Now I'm routing mic inputs one and two to computer inputs channels one and two. If I want to connect an entire bank of eight channels or more, I can simply drag horizontally to make the eight connections, as I'm showing here with the eight line inputs now going to the computer. The routing grid also lets you split a source signal to multiple destinations. For example, I've already routed the eight analog inputs directly to the computer, so now I'm also going to route these inputs to the internal mixer for monitoring. Here's a cool trick. I'll route all eight analog inputs to eight inputs on the internal mixer with a single click. I'll do that by collapsing the folders and making a single mouse click. I expand the folder and you see all eight channels of analog input assigned to eight discrete channels of the mixer. In this video we covered the basic concepts of routing audio sources to destinations in the routing grid. In the next several videos we'll show you routing grid shortcuts, tips, and tricks routing grid presets, and even more examples of the flexibility of the routing grid in the Motu AVB system.